Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I was only willing to pay zero dollars for Global Agenda Free Agent. This game was one of several free-to-play MMOs that recently got added to Steam. Global Agenda Free Agent was developed by High res Studios, based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I've got high hopes for High res Studios' next game, Tribes Ascended, which is the sequel to Tribes 2, which I was a huge fan of. But we are not here to talk about games that are not yet released. We're here to talk about Global Agenda Free Agent. Let's take a look at the game and let's figure out if, well, it's worth nothing. Alright, so let's start things off with the classes that the game has to offer. These are pretty standard fare for an action shooter, but not so much for an MMO, so uh, we'll take a quick look at them. The Robotics, he's kind of like an engineer type. Build stuff, turrets, etc. Medic, well, he's a medic. Healer, but he also has an interesting damage tree that is based on poisons. Recon is your sniper slash assassin rogue type. Uh, he can do stealthy stealthy and uh, has a sniper rifle and uh, a large sword here. Finally, Assault. Assault is much what you would expect it to be by looking at it. A giant beefy dude or dudette with a big old gun. He also has some tanking abilities in one of his trees. So yeah, pretty standard fare for an action shooter, but not so much for an MMO. So let's delve into this a little deeper. Let's take a look at what the game has to offer, and let's create our robotics character. So we immediately start off with some sort of randomly generated heads, preset heads. Uh, you know, they're preset. They all look kind of semi-goofy. But uh, we go through here, maybe we can find something we like. Let's see what we got here. That, what... Is that semi-Asian Elvis? Nice! Alright, we're gonna go with semi-Asian Elvis. And you can tweak the features a little bit more, but there's really not a lot to do when you have a character as perfect as semi-Asian Elvis. So, moving on. Now, this is probably the best feature of this game. Once you've done the introduction mission, you can skip it on all future characters. Now, one of the reasons I think they allow you to do this is the introduction mission isn't like a normal MMO's starting zone. It is actually teaching you more about how to play the third-person shooter aspect of the game as opposed to teaching you how to play the MMO aspects of the game. So it's a lot of stuff about how to jump, how to move, how to use your uh, jetpack, how to fire your guns, things like that. It's not a lot of you know, go and get me five bare nipples and things like that. It's, hey, you've got to, uh, you start out as a clone who has been sprung from stasis or what have you, and you escape the facility to join up with the sort of resistance force uh, which makes up the player faction in this game. So, because we can skip it, we will skip it, because I hate to put my, uh, my viewers through tutorials. So, here we go. So whether you go through the introduction tutorial or you skip it, you will end up here. And we will be looking at this rather haggard looking gentleman in front of us. Now, one thing I'll point out real quickly is that you don't see a mouse cursor here. No, in fact, when I move my mouse, I move my character's vision. So that's something to think about as you move into the next little bit. You will notice I have to press a key to interact. I can't just right click like I can in so many MMOs. Now the thing is, initially this key to interact is on some weird key like H or something. Something that's not easily reachable if you play on WASD. So I immediately rebound that to E, um, which maybe was bound to stray for something, I don't even know. So, that's a heads up right there because you're going to get really annoyed at having to reach over and hit a key which is not in your normal range of motion. So look at rebinding that immediately. So, we will talk to Dalton Bancroft. Yes. Mm hmm. So, he has a quest for us. We would have uh, been given this quest at the end of the tutorial zone, but we are just simply given the quest automatically uh, since we skipped it. Yeah, simple. Okay, and he will offer us another quest to go and speak with Ava Lockhart. So, let's do that. Now, this is the part of the game that starts to teach you more about the 
actual MMO aspects. Running around the city, you, you begin to acquire your weapons and items, and uh, you do all the things which are normally covered in a starting zone on a point-and-click uh, MMO, but since this is an action MMO, they have to start you out by teaching you how to play the action aspect of the game. Now, one really useful feature, uh, especially early on in this dome city, is the computer. So you can interact with the computer and you can actually select a place or person that you want to know the location of. Now, if you look, you can see I'm being given a mark here. But that doesn't necessarily tell me a lot. It doesn't tell me whether I need to go to the second level or the third level, uh, where exactly I need to go. So you will get lost occasionally in the city just following the marks. Uh, that is, until you, you know the layout a little better. So we are supposed to speak with Ava Lockhart. So let's see if she's in the list. Oh, there she is. All right, so Ava Lockhart. Let's go to Ava Lockhart, and it will give me... Arrows, yeah. So I'm going to follow this arrow path right to Ava Lockhart, and it will save me some time, especially, as I said, early on when you don't know this dome city, because this thing can be kind of a beast uh, until you really get a handle on where what is. Where what is. Whatever. So I'm not going to put you guys through all these uh, learning basic quests. Uh, I am going to speak to Miss Ava Lockhart, and I will reconvene with you guys once I get out of the Dome City and get into the actual world where we can start with some basic quests and get a better feel for the gameplay of Global Agenda Free Agent. And after completing a few quests in the starting town of Dome City, I am out into the desert. Yes, semi-Asian Elvis is in the desert. So, we've been charged with a quest to go and talk to a contact named Marsala, and while we're heading in that way, in that direction, let's talk a little bit about the free-to-play aspect of this game. The game is zero dollars up to max level. That's fine. That's great. How do they get you? How do they make their money, I guess? Uh, well, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see credits, tokens, and agenda points. Agenda points are the currency that you can buy with real money. Uh, most of the things I've seen that take tokens also take agenda points. I haven't looked hard enough to know if there are things that only take agenda points, so I can't weigh in on that one way or the other. Uh, there is another option with this, and let me just, uh, i, I got to kind of move quickly. Oh, my God. God, that is a mannish looking woman. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, get that image out of my head as quickly as I can. She's staring at me. Okay. So I got to kind of move quickly through this. I got a lot of information to cover and not a lot of video left. Uh, so the other option with, uh, with buying things besides agenda points is 20 bucks will get you the elite agent upgrade, which means that you will essentially get the retail version of the game, what you would have purchased. Uh, back when the game actually had a sub, when it actually had a subscription fee and it was a monthly fee game. Uh, you will get upgraded to that status and you will get accelerated XP. Uh, you'll get better rewards out of some of the game's specialized uh, game modes. Uh, things like that. So, you know, it's just more stuff, better stuff. 20 bucks uh, gets you access to a, a lot more speed when it comes to leveling and uh, also better rewards, quicker gearing up when it comes to uh, your leveling gear. The other option is boosts. Boosts are temporary increases to your experience and your credits and your tokens and whatnot. And uh, those can be bought in like increments, I think 10 days, 30 days, 90 days, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's a good option too if you just want to play really hardcore for uh, a few days and really bump up your overall stats. So really quickly, take a look at some gameplay. Pretty standard third person shooter stuff. Uh, oh man. Where's that guy going? Come back. Okay. Give me a view. Uh, you going to get some help, buddy? There you go. Get that. That'll help you. So, uh, yeah, pretty standard third-person shooter gameplay. No complaints. Um, you know, the system is good. It, the game is responsive. It feels nice. Uh, sound effects can get annoying. I don't know if you can really hear the gun real well, but uh, some of the sound effects on some of the guns extremely annoying. So uh, I am a robotic, so I have a couple little special abilities. I'll just I'll show those to you real quickly. I have a turret. That's lovely. That I can build. I also have this cool force field. So I'll put that up in front of my turret while my turret constructs um, because I know that there's a spawn right there for an enemy. And then I'll just hang out with my turret 
farms that spawn and I tell you a little bit more about the game so uh, yeah those are some of my special abilities as a robotics hey check out the game and uh, see some of the special abilities that are available for the other classes uh, there we go take that okay now turret you're gonna protect me because I'm gonna talk to the people all right so with uh, with the basics of the game looked at with the uh, the uh, questing uh, the requesting the the gameplay the third person action gameplay um, now that we've taken a look at that hey let's move on to the game modes game has a lot of interesting modes available uh, we have our instances here these are like PVE instances um, you get a quest right uh, right off the bat right out the bat right off the bat to uh, do a medium security uh, so levels 5 to 19 so they've already given you a quest to go in and do some medium security uh, missions Mercenary. Mercenary is your instant PvP. Uh, yeah, standard stuff. Control points. You know, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Raids. Well, they're raids. Apparently raids can only happen during certain set raid times. Um, not really sure about that, but as you can see, it's inactive right now. Arenas. Arenas would be, well, arenas. Yeah. And finally, we come to AVA. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a strategy map of some sort. I, I just, I don't know what it is. Resources, bases, missile facilities, headquarters. I, I don't know. I see player names, or are these guilds, or gr groups? I don't, I don't understand. It looks like something that you would definitely be exploring at the higher levels of the game, uh, but as I sit here right now, I, I, I have no ability to understand this. Um, maybe, uh, it seems to maybe feed into some kind of instanced combat, um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get it, but it looks really interesting, so if you did, uh, look at this game, if you did buy the Elite Pack, or you, uh, free, to, you wanted to free to play up to level 50 and explore the content of the game, this is something I imagine you would be exploring, AVA, I really don't know what it is, but it looks quite interesting, so, Let's really quickly go ahead and uh, recap. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about what we think about the game. Well, again, free to play, so I can't really uh, I can't really knock the price on it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's a solid game. Third-person shooter. Can't complain about the uh, mechanics of the game. I, I so far everything that I've experienced has has been satisfactory. I mean, especially for zero dollars. Uh, let's talk about a rating. What do we want to rate this game? Um, well. It's a little difficult when money's taken out of the equation, but I'm going to rate it four bucks out of five, meaning that I would gladly pay, uh, well, what I paid for the game, but I would gladly pay at least five bucks for the game. I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of fun. If I had said five bucks out of five, that would mean that I would gladly pay full price for the game, or in this case, I would probably purchase the Elite Pack. As it is at four out of five, uh, maybe I would buy a, a, a boost or something or some agenda points. You know, I'd be willing to spend a little bit of money to play this game because it is that much fun. If it was 3 out of 5, I would be kind of on the fence. If it was 2 out of 5, uh, I would be kind of regretting my purchase. Uh, not that great of a game, uh, but, you know, not totally heartbroken. And then at 1 buck out of 5, I'm regretting my purchase. I want my money back, and I would never uh, buy this game again, no matter the price. So, 4 bucks out of 5, solid rating, fantastic little game. It satisfies both my action uh, action game thirst and my RPG uh, MMO for thirst. So, hey, it's two things in one. That's fantastic. Anyway, guys, I have been Big Dave. I would encourage you to take a look at Global Agenda Free Agent. And until next time, take it easy.